Zooey Mama! I'm here to talk about a very important card coming to Marvel Snap. Now, yesterday I uploaded a video covering all the new cards coming out in Snap in June for the Eternals season, where many of you correctly called me out for missing something. That something was Arishem. Okay, now technically he comes out in July, he's coming out July 2nd, but he is still part of the Eternals season. He comes out that last week, and I can't just forget about him and not talk about him. So here I am giving him his own video, and we're even going to go into a bit more detail because this card is insane. I think he's really going to shake things up. My favorite card to come out in a long, long time, and I'm looking forward to him. So we need to talk about him. Come in spotlights on July 2nd alongside Hercules and the Black Swan is Arishem, a seven cost card. Okay, the only seven cost card in Marvel Snap, uh, Death being the only other card that costs more than six. Death is currently an 812. Arishem is a seven cost, seven powered card with an insane ability that at the start of the game, you gain plus one max energy, but you shuffle 12 random cards into your deck. So Arishem has two abilities essentially, and they're both like nothing we have ever seen before. Okay, we've seen cards that give plus one max energy, right? We've got Corvus, we've got Electro, we got temporary energy boosts like Hope Summers X-23, but never at the start of the game. There's never a time where it's turn one and you have two energy already. Three energy on turn two, right? The ramp doesn't start going really until at the end of turn two if you played like Psylocke or on turn three if you play some other ramp cards. And so having straight up plus one max energy from the start is insane. That's crazy. It's actually very powerful, okay? But then he's also doing something, shuffling 12 random cards into your deck. I mean, that's nuts, okay? 12 cards, you have 12 cards in your deck. So your deck is getting doubled with random cards. They're probably kind of bad. Um, and basically you have half the chance of drawing all the cards that you actually want, all the cards that you actually put into your deck. So Arishem actually reminds me a lot of Loki, but Loki maybe is kind of like Arishem on steroids because Loki is actually really strong. Arishem is a bit more meme-y. Um, and a bit more balanced, I think. You know, instead of giving these cards minus one cost, in which case where Loki does, if you play multiple cards on the same turn that give minus one cost, that's like plus one energy for each, right? If you played three cards that had a cost discount, it's like you're getting plus three energy. That's why people complain about Loki, because he's kind of broken. Uh, with Arishem, you're just getting plus one max energy, regardless of how many of these new cards you drew. And it is 12 random cards, okay? Loki is not giving you random cards, he's giving you copies of your opponent's cards, and presumably your opponent is playing some pretty good stuff to beat you. Arishem might just give you absolute crap. He might just give you the worst cards, you might just have 12 one cost cards in your deck and they're all Quicksilver or Squirrel Girl or Domino, you know, just a bunch of the worst cards you could think of. Um, so it's gonna be absolutely nuts, but I, I don't think he's just a meme. I think he's got real potential. And just a reminder before I forget that this information is still data mined. It is unofficial until we see the Marvel Snap season announcement video from Second Dinner, but I'm hoping they don't change his cost, his power, or his ability, because I think he's already great. I think it's perfect design as is, but we'll have to see. So when talking about Arishem's key synergies, the cards he works best with, it's kind of awkward, right? Because your deck is getting doubled up. You're often just not gonna draw the cards that you actually put into your deck. You have you have a very low chance of drawing them, even worse than when you play like a Thanos deck. I mean, imagine if you had Arishem and Thanos in your deck at the same time, and you've just got like 30 cards in your deck. It's crazy, okay? But you are gonna still try to put in cards that he works with and hopefully draw them, and maybe when you don't, you just do like a one cube retreat. First up is Quinjet. Arishem loves Quinjet because you're drawing so many cards that did not actually start in your deck, okay? Because you're getting them right after uh, the start of the game. So they did not start in your deck. Quinjet will give them a minus one cost discount and you still have the plus one max energy from Arishem. So if you're drawing good stuff, you're gonna be able to play some powerful stuff 
right away. This is also kind of similar to like Loki decks where you're getting random cards, it's good. You could even do Loki in Airshim deck, although Loki's probably better without him, uh, but he may like Loki. Another card that's good is Mockingbird. Same thing, right? You're getting a bunch of cards that did not start in your deck. You're gonna play some of them. Some are gonna be crap, but some are gonna be okay, or it's gonna be your only options because your hand is full of these random cards that you didn't uh, put into your deck. And so you're just gonna be playing them. Mockingbird's nice to have. If you do end up drawing her, she's gonna be a free nine, basically. And then lastly, this one's gonna be interesting. Adam Warlock, okay, now I said it's gonna be interesting. If you have Arishem, you've got plus one max energy the whole game, and you could play Adam Warlock on turn four, okay? Now, what you play up until then is probably gonna be a mix of cards that you put into your deck and these randomly generated cards that you had to draw, but it's gonna be pretty easy to be ahead on just one lane, okay? You just focus on one lane, slap down Adam Warlock on turn four, and now you're drawing two cards, okay? And when you're drawing two cards, now you go back to have in basically the same odds of drawing a card that you did put into your deck or getting lucky with one of the random cards, right? Maybe you drew one of these random ones that kind of sucked, but then you draw a random one that's actually really good or a copy of a card you actually did put into your deck. So here is a close-up of the Spotlight variant for Arishem. I'm a big fan of this one. He's already got like two other variants announced and they both look pretty cool as well. Even the Hercules and Black Swan variant in the Spotlight cache look pretty dang good. So my ratings for Arishim, in terms of being fun, yeah, yeah, I think he's he's that guy. It, he's him, okay? This is going to be insanely fun. It's just going to be chaos, right? Some games, you're just going to draw the worst possible cards, and you might be kind of salty. But then the next game, you draw really good cards, maybe copies of cards you actually put into your deck, and you've got plus one max energy to play it, and you just steamroll your opponent. I mean, it's gonna be crazy. It's so unpredictable. When your opponent's playing it, you're not gonna know what's coming. When you're playing it, you don't know what's coming, and they don't know what's coming either. It's gonna be nuts. In terms of being flexible, well, it's hard to say, right? So I gave it these red stars here um, because he's either not flexible at all or insanely flexible, depending on how you look at it. So Arishim is not a card you want to put into any deck that you're playing right now, okay? Whatever you're playing right now, I don't care what it is, if it's really good in the meta or not, you don't want Arishim in there because he's giving you 12 random cards, okay? And that makes your deck worse. But on the flip side, Arishim is creating his own archetype, okay? When we talk about a high Evo deck, a Thanos deck, a Loki deck, we're gonna talk about an Arishim deck, okay? He is creating his own archetype. And maybe you put him alongside some of these synergistic cards I mentioned. Maybe you just slap in Arishem and a bunch of four, five, and six cost cards and hope that he gives you random cards that cost like one, two, and three, right? He'll give you cheap stuff, but you just put some really expensive stuff into your deck because you're gonna ramp into that, okay? But there will be Arishem archetype, okay? He's making it. Now, in terms of being competitive, uh, I've also got some shenanigans here with my ratings, but in ranked mode, I think he's two stars. I think he's okay. Sometimes it's going to be good or fine, you know, decent draws. Sometimes the cards are just going to be crap. You're not getting anything you actually want or need. Your plus one max energy doesn't help you because it's just giving you more energy to play cards that suck. And you're going to retreat. He doesn't seem great for climbing, but... This red star I have uh, for the third star saying it might be good is for Conquest mode. If you're playing in Conquest, I think Arishem might actually be pretty dang good because you're adjusting your deck every game. It's almost like you have a sideboard. Uh, sideboard in card games is where, you know, after you play a match, you can maybe uh, switch out like one or two of the cards to then try and you know adjust to what your opponent's playing. You essentially have that with Arishem, okay? You're essentially adjusting. Maybe you're against a Living Tribunal ongoing deck. Well, the first couple matches, maybe you play it safe, but then one match, you randomly got Super Scroll shuffled into your deck and you drew it with Arishem. Well, now you're looking really good, right? Now Arishem just kind of won you that game by giving you a Super Scroll and your opponent doesn't know what to play around because half of your deck is random cards, okay? If you don't know what cards they are, your opponent definitely isn't gonna know what cards they are. So I think in conquest mode, Arishem, 
might be solid. I, I don't think he's just a meme. So here is my updated look of the Eternals season, which spans from early June to early July with Arishem coming out in July. Let me know what you think of these cards, specifically Arishem. Okay, if you haven't already seen my preview for all these cards coming out in June, I will link that up above. But let me know what you think of Arishem, what decks you think he works best in, if there are any, if there are any even good synergies for him, or if you're just going to see what you draw and play what you can. Uh, let me know what you think of him, if he's going to be just fun or if he's also going to be really competitive because Loki was surprisingly good. So who knows, right? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And until then, stay positive. I'll see you next time.